One campus, two gun threats in less than two months. Until tonight, parents troubled with the district's response to the danger. 10 News reporter Emily Thode is in Fallbrook with the two things the district now plans to do to keep the children safe at school. In order to keep the guns off campus, parents have wanted a sheriff's deputy here at Fallbrook High School. Well, now they're getting their wish. This was the scene at Fallbrook High School Wednesday. Cop cars, frantic parents. After reports, someone brought a gun on campus. There is no reason there should not be a sheriff's officer, CHP officer, private security officer, whatever it may be, on campus every single day that there are students here. The school locked down for hours. Deputies searched but couldn't find the gun. But deputies did find a loaded gun at school in February. Three students arrested. I am in favor of a sheriff's deputy on campus. Unfortunately, this is the first year that we haven't had a deputy on campus. At Monday's school board meeting, the Fallbrook superintendent said a sheriff's deputy will start patrolling the campus in about 10 days. It is something that our parents think is important, and therefore we are very aggressively pursuing that. Last year, there was a deputy on campus called a school resource officer. But the superintendent says it was under a pilot program. Now the school resource officer will cost the district anywhere from $150,000 to $250,000 a year because it's in the unincorporated county. The annual school budget is about $32 million. And they're trying to improve our programs, so it's kind of an undue burden to our school and our school district to have to supply a sheriff for our children's safety. The district also moved up active shooter training for staff members to this week. We don't know the exact cost of the sheriff's deputy, but the superintendent tells me they're going to make it work. In Fallbrook, Emily Thode, 10 News. Thank you.